Good morning. I'm back. It's time. It's the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, coming up on today's show, we're talking about autism with Elder J.R. Alexander and Orlando Hudson. And also, the Taste of Home event is happening. And we're going to have all the details right here with Robert Baker and Leanne Maynard. All is happening this morning on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show and Coffee Talk with me. That's right. Get your coffee cup, put it up, and your pinky is going to be out. Good morning. <laughs> Cannon & Graves is a proud sponsor of The Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon & Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon & Graves. Good morning. Welcome back to the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down right now. Can you tell I'm happy? I'm, I'm, listen, I am so happy to be back. Thank you so much for bearing with me through my winter break. Um, just a little small hiatus, just to take a little break. And then, of course, you know we're back January, February, March, April, May. Then we leave again for the big break, which will be a long time. But nonetheless, while we're here, my friends have come with me, and I'm excited. So a taste of home. Of course, many of you have read Southern Living Magazine. You read the different ones when you go into the dentist office in the doctor's office and you're reading the magazines and the different things. Well, A Taste of Home. So you have all your little taste events. Well, A Taste of Home is coming to Clarendon County and I'm excited because my friends Robert and Leanne are here in the house. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How, How are, are you this you? morning? How are you, How are you feeling? Good. Good. Wonderful. No Excited. nerves now. We're, yes. <laughs> see, I love, see, Leah makes me happy. Leah gets me excited. <laughs> me and Rob just have to sit here and the energy that is flowing in the room right now is absolutely amazing. So let's talk about Taste of, of Home. home. Um, Tell me a little a bit about it. It's a national name brand. Okay. And we were blessed enough to get it to come to Clarendon County. Wow. We have an awesome venue, Weldon Auditorium. Um, it's technically a cooking class. Okay. We have the celebrity guest, Michelle Roberts. Oh, okay. so you know, let me tell you, you can tell when Lee, Lee and Robert blow me because you know that they, they've had their, you know, when you know celebrities, it's like, we're going to have the celebrity chef, Michelle. Did you say Michelle is going to be in the house? Come a little closer. Michelle's going to be in the house. Michelle's going to be in the house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I Anyone who, who, who knows Michelle to see her cook. It's absolutely, it's, it's an experience. It is. It's not just someone in the kitchen cooking or a chef cooking. It's an experience. It How did you get her involved in this project? Well, she came to us. You know, after I booked The Taste of Home, right. she, she wanted to come on down to Clarendon County. Wow. I think, if I'm not mistaken, she's done a show in, in Columbia, maybe, okay. Or, okay. or, you know, mm -hmm. close to the area. Um, so she wanted to come back. She, she loves it down here and wanted to come back. So we will have her. Um, it's, it's more of an, an entertainment event. Okay. You know, she will be up there cooking and demonstrating, but we also have but that's, a, that's like part vendors. of it. Because it's going to be like Just a, it's really, it, yes. it's really like a festival with a it master is. class. It is. So Michelle's going to teach this master class, mm -hmm. but people can come before then to enjoy yes. the festival. Yep. And you said yes. 24 vendors 24 are already signed vendors. up? 24 vendors. I only have two spots left. That's it. Yeah, we have two vendors spots. coming from Rock Hill. We have toys, door hangers, makeup, Tupperware, boutiques, you name it, it's we have a vendor spot for it. Wow. So, and so there are only two vendor spots, and I want to make that clear, two vendor spots that are left. So if you're yeah. looking at it, it's an event that really, you want to get your business out there, you want people to know about you. I told y'all in 2015, you have to invest in yourself. Why not invest, pay the fee, be at the taste of home, get some great food, mm -hmm. meet some great people. It's just going to be wonderful. It is. And I'm it's excited be, about I'm it. I'm so excited. Listen, so the taste of home is going to be happening. you got the vendors who are going to be there. Yes. So they'll get the opportunity to come in and go around to the different 
different vendors, and mm -hmm. then they'll go in for the master class. Then, yes. Then, well, VIP tickets okay. get there an hour early. Okay. VIP tickets are $35. Okay. You get there an hour early. You have a meet and greet with Chef Roberts. We give you a taste of home cookbook. For you to get autographed and take home. So she'll autograph a the cookbook. Oh, yeah. So you can go um, home and then play around with the recipes and don't let nobody else taste them until yeah. you perfect them. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I love um, it. The VIP section is catered. Okay. So, you know, you can eat there. But we also have food vendors out back with um, the rest of the okay. vendors. Um, the gates open for VIP at 4.30, 5.30 for general admission. General admission is $12. Okay. The show starts at 7. But for me, the most exciting part is the door prizes. Tell me about um, the door prizes. I love prizes now. Y'all know I get happy. Let me sit up real quick. <laughs> Let me get myself together, Leanne. Um, What's the door prize? We have the normal um, refrigerator, recliner, which is awesome. That's awesome stuff. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> Y'all, I'm loving this this morning. Leanne said we have the... No now, you know normal door prizes. I'm thinking someone's giving away a gift card. Leanne said we have the normal <laughs> refrigerators, <laughs> recliners. So everybody's so, going to be a winner almost because I'll, Yes, of what everyone's you're entered. But if what's you, the big can... door prize? It's something you're um, not telling me. $2,500 cash. Pro Throw Chevy donated $2,500 cash. <laughs> Y'all see I'm sweating up here? $2,500? Yes, sir. Man, are you serious? I'm serious. $25. Robin, she's serious? We're very serious. That's a heart attack. Pro yes. Throw Chevrolet yes. is giving away $2,500. Yes. Tax season. That's what it is. Y'all got that money from them cars, them new cars. I love it, though. Thank you for giving back to the community. Yes. So $2,500 mm -hmm. door prize. All you have to do is it's buy a ticket. Come to the Taste of Home. And be at the Taste of come Home. Come to the Taste of Home. And the thing about it, Rob, if I'm not mistaken, this is really a family event. Anybody can come because the tickets are, even though you got the VIP for 35 mm -hmm. you got $12. You can bring you and your three mm -hmm. kids. Exactly. And, you know, Michelle, Leanne and I were talking about it yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's more... It's not just a cooking show. It's right. more like an entertainment. It's a, it's interactive. Um, she does so much on stage. We've been posting videos she on our website, uh, manninglive.com, mm -hmm. and she's very good about getting the kids involved, mm -hmm. getting people up on stage. We post about one video with her a day, and some of them are fairly, you know, some of them are 60, 30 second spots, but there's one of them that's been in rotation that's about five or six minutes long where you can see her where she did one, I think, in Arkansas. Uh -huh. And she's very, you know, interactive with everybody. with the audience. Mm -hmm. And so it really becomes an experience. So not only are you going to enjoy food, but then you might be the person that they pull up on stage. And here's the beautiful thing about it. I was going through the website the other Someone called me and said, Jeffrey, I'm loving the video on Man and Live. And I said, video? What video? Man and Live has moved interactive, honey. They got videos posted up there. So the thing is Yeah, is we that, will put you up there. Right. So whoever's going to be on that stage that night will probably end up on manninglive.com. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But but it's going to be such a wonderful, fun-filled event. And, and yeah, bring your family. Right. I have two little girls. They will be there. Bring your family, your friends. Church organizations. Exactly. Yeah. It and, make it, and make it a trip. And I think the beautiful thing about it is, is that you know, so many of the surrounding communities, Sumter mm -hmm. and Bishopville and Lee County and Florence. Columbia, Windsor, yeah. all of them are going to be involved mm -hmm. in what's going to be a great yeah. night of entertainment yes. and of family fun. It's just going to be great. So how can they get tickets? How can the viewers out here get involved and get tickets? Okay, right we have the tickets at our office, okay. um, the Manning Times. Okay. Uh, you can log on to manninglive.com. We also are selling them at the Weldon Auditorium, mm -hmm. 803 433 show is their phone number okay. and the clarendon county chamber of commerce now i gotta ask this real quick because you talked about manninglive.com and y'all know I, I i got to give kudos where kudos is due the manning times has taken news on the local level to a total different plateau and that's with manning live everyone Thank knows you. about Thank manning you. live i don't i'm from manning but i don't even live in manning <laughs> but you best believe i know everything that's going on in manning the Thank good you. and that's what i love because a lot of times people are like the news is so bad not on manning live it's good and it's when you do something bad. That's right. But <laughs> Thank you. Talk to us a little bit about the Manning Time and ManningLive.com. Where did the inspiration for that come from? Just the way that you've been so interactive Facebook. with it. F Facebook. Facebook. There's so we many. To make it a there's Facebook so thing. many newspaper websites that are. Uh, you hear a lot of. There's. They're hard to interact with. They're right. hard to get from one thing to another. And when we, when we started talking about it. Um, in 2013, mm -hmm. we wanted something that looked, it's almost like a blog. Right. 
And initially we did have some detractors who, who told us it was like a blog and we were like, that's what we want. Like, yeah, thanks right. for saying that's that. That's what we were after. Right. That's exactly what I'm after. I and want it to be as simple want. as possible mm -hmm. to get that information out there. And it's interactive mm -hmm. and people, and here's the thing, when you get people involved, then people are actually going to come and they're going yeah. to visit and everybody knows. I'm Even on Facebook, people share manninglive.com so <laughs> you'll see the you. article. This happens and that happens. So I'm excited about Thank it. You. And I'm hoping that because there's some things that are coming out of pipeline. Some, I can't give you the secrets right now. I'm not even going to make them. <laughs> but there's some things that are coming down. But it's going to be interactive. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. But in order for us to continue to do this, we need you at these events like the Taste of Home. Yes. Absolutely. That is happening. Absolutely. Give us the date one more time. It's, it's March 12th. Okay. Gates open for VIP at 4.30, $35 ticket. They open at 5.30 for general admission, mm -hmm. $12 ticket. Show starts at 7. And vendors are going to be there. Bring your coins. Yes. Bring your money yes. because you, you can buy from the vendors. And um, the show is going to be there. And it's just so going to be excited. I am very excited. <laughs> get Lampin, your tickets now. Get yes. your tickets now before it's they too late. Selling. Listen, Jeffrey Lampin is going to be in the house. I expect to see you there. And someone's going to win $25. I'm going to win $2,500. <laughs> and y'all can walk me, watch me walk up stage and win my $2,500, but be there. Thank you guys so Thank much you. for coming. Y'all, I told Leanne today that she is made for television. Go ahead and fluff the hair real. Come on, she's made for television. <laughs> Listen, keep it right here. More is happening on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Your coffee cups are up. Your pinkies are out. You've been lamped. Get your tickets. Good morning. Jeffrey Lampkin. <laughs> Cannon & Graves is a proud sponsor of the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Located at 1837 Wilson Road in Newberry, Cannon and Graves has the perfect certified used car for you. Their extensive inventory has something in every price range, and they can get everyone financed, regardless of credit. All cars come with a warranty to give you the peace of mind you deserve. Come see Steve and Reggie, and find your new car at Cannon and Graves. Good morning. We're back here on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Listen, put your coffee cups down right now. If you can imagine the things that happen in between break, it just makes me laugh, y'all. Y'all know I love to laugh at all times. But listen, there's another worthy cause, of course, because we've been talking about causes all day that I am very much um, a part of and I believe in. And autism is one of those causes. Do you know that autism affects one in 68 children? And not only one in 68 children, but one in every 42 young male um, is affected with autism and I'm excited that we have some men who have stood up in our community and said it's time to make a difference it's time to create an awareness Hope Fest 2015 is here and Elder J.R. Alexander and Bishop Orlando Hudson <laughs> is in the house and I'm excited Listen, I have crowned him as Bishop all day listen I'm gonna let him speak in a moment but JR, right on today <laughs> listen J.R. Hope Fest 2015 tell us a little bit about it Hope Fest 2015 is going to be a major event okay. in the Florence area. Um, it's going to be big for the community. We are having uh, this year for the first time, uh, for, for our first Hope Fest 2015, mm -hmm. we're having J.J. Harrison and You for Praise. Now let's stop right there. So you got to stop people, because see, people, you know what, you can tell them big time people, when they're friends with people, they just be like, J.J. Harrison and You for Praise. But we're talking <laughs> about multiple Stella Award winner, Gosh. multiple Rhythm of Gospel Amen. Award winner. I can go on and on about the things. Grammy nominated yes. J.J. Harrison, son of the legend, Dr. Teresa Harrison. Good morning to you, Dr. Harrison. But I just a legend within his own, and they have the new album out. I mean, they're doing it, and they're coming to Florence, South Carolina. They're coming to Carolina, Florence, South Carolina. To the PD Carolina. region. PD region. Wow. Uh, also, the uh, Midlands region, we want everybody there. We've got um, J.J. Harrison Youth for Praise will be the highlight event for the night. We're also going to have, um, for the first time in Florence ever, mm -hmm. uh, Minister Kevin Lemons and Higher Calling. And Kevin Lemons and them just actually appeared at Hezekiah Walker's Choir Fest. Of course, you all who've been following me on social media, you know that I've been talking about that event. So they were there, and they're actually one of the top choirs. And for, for my viewers, just to help you out, if you look at um, a lot of the BET stuff, um, the, especially the Sunday Best tapings, they right. always are appearing there. So you've got some heavy hitters coming in. Absolutely. But what made you decide, because of course you're in ministry, I you am. have so many other things going on, what made you decide to say, hey, I want to become inf involved in a worthy cause and in an initiative such as this? Anybody that does ministry in an effective capacity mm -hmm. will testify that real ministry is about people. Um, we've made it about church and shouting and dancing and speaking in tongues. But real ministry is about people mm -hmm. and helping people where they are, um, pulling them up from whatever issues they have and bring them to a, a level playing field with everybody else. Um, the autism disorder is so 
crippling mm -hmm. um, to, to males and also to children. Right. And there's oftentimes not enough funding available for those who suffer with a disorder. Mm -hmm. It costs the, the uh, United States economy anywhere between $240 billion, mm -hmm. $260 billion annually mm -hmm. to um, help fight this disease. So mm -hmm. in our local region, we've decided um, with M. Wayne Productions, which is a division of my ministry, M. Wayne Ministries, to partner with the Catch Foundation and bring and awareness to autism and, and use Hope Fest. Now, listen, I'm Bishop Hudson. I'm going to call him Bishop <laughs> Hudson all night. And, you know, the consecration right. is Gosh, coming. We'll Prepare see. yourself. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Bishop Hudson, let me ask this question. So the Catch Foundation yeah. decided to, here's my thing, because, of course, there's so many other organizations that you can partner yeah. with, but you're choosing to partner with a religious entity and a religious organization. Yes. Why, how important is it for ministry and religious organizations to be involved in a cause such as this? Well, definitely the church is a lot of the world. Mm -hmm. God makes everybody differently. Um, imagine him making everybody the same. Right. You know, it wouldn't be right. You know, people look at the kids with autism and kind of push them to the side, especially when I come from at, you know, at Darlington High School. Mm -hmm. They push the kids to the side, not involved in the other activities just as well as everybody else in school. Ate lunch by themselves, pushed off by themselves. So that's something I told my mom. I said, Mom, you know, if I ever fulfill my dream and make it big, that's what I want to do, have my own school for autism. But now we're raising money, getting more awareness out for parents, for teachers. Mm -hmm. And I got my man GR here who bringing in some unbelievable artists, Very you know. So, so um, these a lot of parents are lost. And a lot of parents are in denial. Mm -hmm. But a lot of teachers are also like, you know what, this ain't for me. I give a few minutes, then I push them off a little bit because this right. ain't for me. So they see teachers and other folks who don't are not affected by kids with autism, look at those kids that being, you know, they're abnormal. So they don't have to be with us. Right. So they think, okay, we the normal society, let's keep them over here. No, we are the really the abnormal folks. Right. You know, and the people we vote for are the abnormal folks. They always <laughs> give us, you know, we don't have the funding. Yes, you have the funding. Don't right. say you don't have the funding. The funding is there for education and for those and for those kids to make, you know, to be better in society. Mm -hmm. It is the fact that they don't want it to put it out there as an objective until one of them Family members get, you know, absolutely affected by, affected by it. Right. Then they are making a, a, you know, a purpose and a cause and say, they say, okay, we need to do something now. Right. How did you become involved with it? Because I mean, your, your I career finished. has been so exciting, right? He's a, he talk. I told y'all he's a bishop. <laughs> Amen. Come on, I'm get, get your collection so ready. So right. Get see. your collection plate ready. <laughs> How did you become involved? Your career has been so expansive. How have you become stopped to say, hey, I need to become involved? in autism, I need to speak out, autism speaks. Well, you know what, like I said earlier, it was just a little bit in high school. And then once I got, you know, once God blessed me and I started my career in Toronto, mm -hmm. then it was like, you know what, I can expand a little bit. So then my mom was like, okay, you can expand a little bit. And then that's when I met my, you know, I had my fiance then and we got married and she's like, you know what, we can make it a little bigger. Right. And then my marketing team from Atlanta Footprint Marketing, like we can make it bigger, right. let's do this. Then Nike got involved with me. And then uh, then the people that customized my clothes, they got involved with me. So I had my NBA friends, my, my NFL friends, my MLB right. friends got involved with me. Then I got my guy like JR, they got involved. So it makes it just making it much better, much mm -hmm. bigger. Then you'd be surprised how many kids and guys that I played with and played against, their kids were affected by autism. Very much so. You know, so it was a great deal. And it's becoming so rapid to, to now, I personally think it's becoming because maybe, you know, when mom is going to labor, you know, they got they got the moms hooked up to four or five different machines. Right. They got needles sticking them every two minutes. You know, you can't eat this, you're going to eat this, you're going to eat this, and I don't eat that. And it's, I think it's the foods that we eat at the grocery stores, so many pesticides and all this. It's causing these moms to, that's what I personally think. Cancel some issues. Cancel, yeah, got some issues going there. On, but I think you said something that was so powerful earlier. Um, you said that... Uh, a lot of people don't get involved until it affects until their it affects doorstep. Their door exactly. But, you know, autism, when we look around, and, and one of the statistics that I was doing some research was that there are, there's 1%, like it affects 1% of um, the population, the world population. The world, yes. But if you think about it, there are 7 billion people. 7.6 so billion right. people. So when you're yeah. talking about 1%, that is a lot, a lot of people. Of people. It's a lot and of people. so once, once you have an autistic child, that's ripple effect. Because we're going down, so we, we need to get involved. Yes. And I'm so excited that that your ministry has partnered with the Catch Foundation. So Hope Fest Hope is Fest. happening. February the 7th, February 2015. 7th. So that's Saturday. That's, that's Saturday. That's, that's less Saturday. than seven days. Less than seven days. You all need to listen. Are tickets available? Tickets are available online at www.ticketriver.com mm -hmm. forward slash events 
forward slash 13983. Okay. The general admission is $25 and the VIP tickets are 35 And if not, they can follow you. One of the things, if you if you weren't able to catch that, and we'll scroll at the bottom of the screen, but if you're not able to catch that, they can follow you yeah. on social media because on social media, you can find everything. So they can follow J.R. Alexander. J.R. Alexander on Facebook or M. Wayne Ministries on Facebook. Um, M. Wayne 2, that's at M. Wayne I. I. On Twitter, Instagram, same thing. But M. we need, we need people. Gosh, to, you have a lot going. Hey, on. don't you have a lot going? M Wayne, I, 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 yeah. I, 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 I. It sounds like a tongue. Yeah, M Wayne, yeah, I, 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 I. See, I don't got Facebook, so, not, so they want to donate to my foundation with the Catch Foundation. They can go to Orlando Hudson, the number one dot com. So you you don't have Facebook. I do have Facebook. You do, okay. I do have Facebook. Okay. And see, I'm not as good as him with all the remember everything. So I can't remember the Twitter account. <laughs> I can't remember the, 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 that yeah, account. Look, hey, they don't have to do this because you know when people get grand, all you need to type in is Orlando Hudson yes, and just watch it. Google in. me, son. Yes. Google me. <laughs> Google him. Google him. But listen, whole fest is going down. JJ Harrison will be in the building. Columbia's own Cabray Benford and Psalm I'm 100. I'm excited. I heard they yeah, blazed. Yeah, they are amazing. They are absolutely amazing. They've been on the couch before, so you all know them. Sean Bigby, I'm um, of course from John P. Key's Church, New Life. He will be um, in the building, and it's going to be a great time. Tickets one more time, or how much? Uh, $25 general admission, $35 VIP. We're going to be at Savannah Grove Baptist Church. Believe that. In Florence, God. South Carolina. <laughs> Reverend Ralph Canty in the past. Good morning, it's my just, friend, Reverend I mean, Dr. Ralph. You just bring it, huh? Come on, ain't he ready? I'm going to give him a microphone and let him tear it up on <laughs> you. Know what I'm saying? Somebody cue the organ. Let me call Taurus real quick. Yeah, Taurus Ralph, somebody. Cue the organ real quick because Fine. he's ready. Fine. He's ready. Yes, <laughs> spirit fingers. My God. God, this bitch. is why, listen, this is why you need to be there on Saturday night. It's going to be fundable. fundable. Be I was about to say it's going to be fundable. It's, gonna be it's going God. to be wonderful. <laughs> and it's going to be fun. It's new word though. Fundable. fundable. I like it's that. We're going to have to put, it in there. put that in there. Come on, fundable. somebody get some money from it. I don't know. Listen, keep it right here. More is happening. Make sure that you get your tickets to Hope Fest 2015. It's happening this Saturday night. I expect to see you there. I'll be there. More is happening. That. And remember, Autism Speaks on the Jeffrey Lampkin Show. Your coffee cups are up. Your pinkies are out. Go ahead and shift your wig. Slap your stockings <laughs> on. It's church time. Good morning. I'm Watchbox Chief Meteorologist Henry Rothenberg. When tropical weather approaches, don't get caught off guard. Get up-to-the-minute forecast with the Skywatch weather app. Everything you need to be prepared for the storm, from interactive radar, up-to-the-minute alerts, and detailed storm information. Just search Skywatch in the App Store or Google Play. Sponsored by the South Carolina DNR. Sports with Derek Phillips tonight on Watch Fox News at 10. Wow, what an amazing show. Listen, so I'm doing new things in 2015. Like I told you, I'm glad to be back. And it's going to be coffee talk. I'm always telling you to have your coffee cups up and your pinkies out. You know, I'm not really a coffee lover per se, but I think I'm going to get into it. I don't think I'll be drinking coffee every day. However, on the show, when I do the show, I'm going to try different coffees. So listen, send to me. Find me on Facebook, on Instagram. Let me know some coffees that you think I need to try out, test out on the show. I'll actually bring kudos to you for um, introducing it to me. I'll let you know my honest opinion y'all know me when it comes to food I will tell you to the truth so let's talk about it coffee talk this morning and of course today is the beginning of black history month and so with it being black history month I want to talk to, about something that happened over the course of the break and that was the Academy Award nominations now of course the Academy Award nominations came out and generally you know with the Academy Awards you will see maybe one, two, three African-Americans who are nominated. Um, sometimes their work is definitely highly deserving of a nomination. Sometimes you wonder were they nominated simply because we wanted to have an African-American um, in the nomination pool. However, this year, there were no nominations in the acting categories of the um, Academy Awards. Now, of course, we do know that John Legend and Common did receive um, an, a nomination for their song, but there were no acting awards. And I think what's so ironic about it, acting nominations, and I think what's so ironic about it is the fact that you had a lot of talented actors this year in Hollywood who were of um, an African-American descent. But then I, I begin to puzzle, because we're not going to talk about the fact that there were no nominations. There were no nominations. That's just it, plain and simple. But I think that as we enter into Black History Month, it begins to ask a question. Are we still living in a racist society? Has the society really changed for the better? Have uh, 
people become more calculated in their forms of racism. Is racism still real, but people are just more calculated in the way that they carry out um, their racist traditions and values? Is this really a thing of race, or were there just simply um, too many talented actors and actresses this year and not enough areas for nominations? Now, of course, Selma, did receive a nomination, which, by the way, I saw the movie. If you have not seen it, especially here in Black History Month, I would urge you to go see that movie. It is life changing. Um, Love Bug and I, Harriet, we actually got to go see it, and it's actually a wonderful movie. But I began to ask myself the question of, were there viable people to be nominated this year? And the answer for that, for Jeffrey Lampton, is yes. There were people that should have been nominated this year um, in the um, acting categories. You had David, who appeared um, as the lead actor, played Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King in Selma. Um, um, Kwanzaa and Fume, who um, is in Annie, who um, at, was an actress in Annie. She deserved the nomination. It was so many talented actors and actresses this year, and they weren't nominated. And so as I sit in coffee talk this morning and I ponder and I think and I wonder, I begin to ask myself the question, will racism ever become non-existent? The answer to that is no. So how do we change it? How do we move forward? How do we become a, a society that is progressive? Everyone is not racist, not at all, not at all. I have some of the most amazing friends who are of um, the Caucasian descent and, and of other nationalities. And look at my friends this morning, uh, Robert and Leanne, we're great friends. And there are people out there who look at people not just for um, the color of their skin, but as the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King said, for the content of their character. But I think that each individual needs to examine themselves. I think that we need to stop being um, discriminating and being racist towards people within our own race. I ask often African Americans, how can we expect it to stop if we um, segregate based on color of our skin, the light and the dark. You know how we, we trip and make things, mocha latte and caramel, and I'm light, and I'm in the house, and you're in the field, and we make all sorts of jokes. And those are things that we say, I've been guilty of it. I've said it before. But I, I, I ask the question as we go into Black History Month, and we're going to talk a lot through this year, because you, the Academy Awards, that is a big thing that happened, saying that we had no African American nominations. But I think that the picture is bigger but it can start if we start fixing ourselves individually. It's just coffee talk. It's food for thought. Think about it. Listen, I'm looking for coffee mugs. I think I posted that as well. I'm looking for coffee mugs. Of course, I got my generic one today, but I need an actual coffee mug with the Jeffrey Lampkin emblem. We're going to do that in coffee talk. It's just going to be great things happening in 2015, and I'm going to do stuff that's going to push and motivate your mind to think about it just for a little while. Listen, it's church time. I've got to get ready. I've got to go. It's happening. Your coffee cups are up. Your pinkies are out. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Um, who am I going to pull for? Go Seattle. All right, I got to go. Your coffee cups are up. Your pinkies are out. You've been lamped. Good morning. Here we go. Just for the you, smile and laugh, cause God loves you. Get up and get left, 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 left. And Jeffrey Lampkin. <laughs> Somebody turn the lamp on.